The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Daryl Martin. All right, folks. Welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour here on TFNN.com. Coming to you live inside the Signal platform and on your mobile phone at TFNN.MOBI. Let's check where the markets are at. We got the S&P is flat, unchanged at the moment. The Russell's up five points. The NASDAQ's up 21. Dow's up eight. We got copper flying on up, getting some nice, nice moves in the metals there. But we got copper up a one and three fourths percent, almost two percent. We got gold right now is up over half percent. We got silver is up over half a percent. Natural gas getting slammed today on inventory day, down five percent, a five percent move. Insane. We got corn is up right now, one percent. Soybeans up one percent. As well, 1% on soybeans means a lot more than 1% on corn, by the way, for you as a trader, due to how big of a move that can be. Looking on over at the pound dollar, it is down 119 pips. So we got some massive moves. We got euro dollar down 174. We got dollar franc up 68. We got US yen up 61. We got euro yen down 137. Euro pound down 48. Aussie yen down 54. Aussie dollar down 80. And the dollar index is up 1.2%. King dollar reigning strong. And looking on over at pound yen down 72 pips, euro franc down 66, pound franc down 23, and the dollar cad is up 73 pips on the day. And uh, don't forget, you can call in, ask any questions you got. Right now, we got uh, Ken from Salisbury, North Carolina um, on the phone. How you doing there, Ken? All right. How you doing, bud? Hey, man. I'm doing great. What you got? Oh, okay. I uh, just wanted to ask you, uh, the Nadex, I have the uh, Nadex Pro platform downloaded, and they've got a scanner just like I guess you do on your website. Uh, how does that fare as far as finding a uh, binary spread near its floor or the right spread or the right binary? Uh, oh, you're talking about the screener that they have in there. Right, the screener, right. Yeah. Right. It, it doesn't actually have all the same features. So it's, it it's not. No, it does not have the same features at all. No. So it, uh, and you have to constantly hit the button to make it refresh and pull the new information up. Okay. So and it really isn't going to do for you what the scanner does for you. So, I mean, okay. it, it, it has, you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a cool idea. I, I don't know where they got it from, <laughs> right? Oh. But uh, they didn't quite do it right. So to say the least. Oh. Okay, so yours would be basically a whole lot better than that. Yeah, my, mine's going to be live. It's going to update every time new contracts come in. It's going to drop old contracts off. Um, and so and it has a proximity distance where you can actually, you know, find for the, the proximity built into it. Um, oh, really? You know, oh. Yeah, there's a lot of features built in. And it's, oh. you can, and it's a lot cleaner. So, um, you know, have you, have you seen it yet? Have you looked at it? Uh, I haven't had a chance to. That's why I called in. I didn't know how well it fared, and uh, I, I wanted to ask you. I'd like if I wanted to trade a spread if the floor was uh, 850 oh. in the ceiling of 900. I, I just wanted to try to, if I was going to buy it eight, you know, at, at the floor, I'd want to know right then, you know, where the available spreads are at that point to be able to buy to maximize, hopefully, the, uh, the, you know, the most bang for the buck, so to speak. Exactly. That's actually, I built the scanner actually for spreads. I added binaries just due to popular demand. But right. in, my, in my personal opinion, the whole, because it actually has the binaries also. But uh, my main thing is due to the spread scanner. So, uh, okay. and what it does is it lets you know how many minutes till expiration. You can say, you know, your time frame, lets you know max risk, max reward, but it also lets you know distance to underlying market, which is what's really important. And okay. uh, because if, you know, that's, that's your premium or it's how far the market's going to have to move by expiration for you to be, you know, profitable, um, that premium doesn't disappear in one second. But, you know, the further it is, the slope, really what that means, the, the bigger the distance from the market of where the spread is priced. So, you know, you buy an option. But the difference between where the spread is priced and the market is priced, like that, get it to, the larger that number is, the slower that spread price is going to move. 
So on a big move, yes, you'll get a bigger bang for your buck because you'll probably have less risk. Okay. Uh, right. On a smaller move, if that number is large, then you know you may not see near as much of a move as you think you're going to see, like a point for point move, because it's an option. It has premium, right. in it. and like any other option, it has more premium the closer you get to the strike. So, like if you you take a normal call or put option, an at the money strike basically has a delta of fifty. Okay, uh -huh. which means it right. moves. For the for the next yeah. point, it'll yeah exactly it'll move yeah, for every dollar the underlying moves it'll move fifty cents. So right. this works the exact right. same way. If it's at the floor or ceiling, it's basically gonna be a delta of fifty. If it's a, you know outside of it, it'll actually be slower than that. The closer you get to the center, the faster it gets, and the closer you get to expiration, oh. the faster it gets. So okay. to make all that and that that's a lot of complicated crap to keep in your head, right? And right, to calculate, right, right. And figure out, and I got sick of trying to do it. I, I, I actually made an Excel sheet the first time, and I'd copy the stuff off Nadex and throw it on there with the live data feed coming into my Excel sheet and update the numbers, oh, and it was still, still delayed and because <laughs> I didn't have updated pricing. And so I was like, i got to make this thing live for, for my own trading. And right, so the whole, right. the whole point of it is to go in and be able to have all the math done for you and be able to make your decision in a heartbeat. So if you're like, hey, I yeah, want to buy right. or I want to sell the S&P or yeah. whatever it is, you, yep, you can find the best con contract, best price. Um, and one of the things it'll do, too, one of the most valuable things, in my opinion, is that you can see different expirations all at once. Okay? Right. Because I may have one that expires in 46 minutes, three hours, you know, or longer, and have the exact same risk. So, you know, I mean, like here, I don't know if you can see on my example, but I'm showing like two contracts right now, actually three contracts, one of, and all of them have about a $15 risk. Okay. Right. One of them right. expires at three. Two of them expire at four fifteen. So you have to pay another basically dollar or two there for the one that expires at four fifteen. But for another buck or two, I get you know another you know hour. Okay. Hour, right, hour, a little, right. a little more than an hour. And then one of them has a two hundred eighty three tick profit potential. One of them has a three hundred eighty three. So by using the scanner, okay. I'm instantly able to see all the expirations of that similar you know risk model. And I can go, wow, well, there's no reason why I'd choose the one that expires at 3 o'clock. I mean, it's only like, okay, I'm risking another dollar, but I can only make 85 ticks. I go over and I look at the one that expires at 4.15. I'm like, well, it's capped at 2.83. Probably not an issue because I doubt the S&P is going to move another 28 points today. But for the exact same risk and the exact same expiration, I can get one that has a $383 prop potential. So why not do it? So to me, it was more right. about just one good trade, okay? Where you right. picked a, a better strike, like you picked a further out expiration that you didn't know was there, or one had more prop potential that probably wasn't going to happen, but even if it happens once, it, you know, every month or two, you know, uh -huh. like, is worth using. So that was my idea, oh, to try to make it, yeah. you know, just as worth using as possible. Like, and, and just to save me the math, because I don't want to stare at the stupid spreads. I mean, I want to look at the chart, I want to make my decision, and then I want to hit right. buy or sell on a spread. I don't want to be focusing and yeah. analyzing 30 different spreads. And... What I found I was doing was I was just taking a shortcut and going, that nah, wouldn't look good enough. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know? well, it, it wasn't the worth the mental gymnastics. And I'm like, okay, I know this is not the best way to do it. How can I maximize my profit um, but minimize my brain fatigue? Because <laughs> uh, right. if I, cause if I didn't minimize the brain fatigue, I'd just get lazy and just pick what seemed like the best one at the, at the moment. You know? Right. And I mean, right. you give up 50 That's bucks on a contract. You know, and if you're doing, I mean, I'll trade 50 contracts a trade, you know, and I'll do sometimes as many as 20, 30 trades in a day, uh, oh, yeah, maybe no. even higher. I mean, if just one of those trades is 50 bucks, you know, I mean, that's $1,000 difference. Oh, you know? yeah, or maybe oh, I yeah. lost on the trade because, or maybe I didn't make as much on the trade because it expired at three, but I could have got a 415 for another buck, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, my idea was, okay, I, I know I am personally going to be a little bit lazy on analyzing all this stuff. I need to make it really simple for me to be able to pick out really quick which ones I want. Oh, okay. And, uh, so the scanner was designed for the spread specifically? That's, that, I designed it for the spread specifically. Um, like we didn't even have, I didn't even have a binary scanner. You know, so I didn't even say that on TFN, it didn't even say binary scanner. Um, it's a spread scanner. <laughs> uh, okay. Because when we first launched it, we actually didn't even have it for binaries. So I just added binaries right. like eight months ago. Um, okay. Just due to, you know, like I said, a lot of people were saying, hey, we want binaries also. But I mean, it was just, it was for the spreads because binaries are pretty simple. I mean, if you're just trading one instrument, you can really get away with using the platform, you know? 
Um, you may not, you still may not make the best choice because you can't see all the expirations at one time. But um, okay. you know, well, if you're just no, trading, like just... if you're just doing five minute US yen, I mean, you could get away with it, you know. But the spreads, I mean, there's just way too much math. Um, right, right. And and you're day trading. You don't have like when you're op when you're trading options. I mean, like I'll use Think or Swim, awesome option platform, you know. Or you know, you can look at eSignal, and you know, I mean, there's all, all these different option platforms out there. And you can, you can sit back and you can do some analysis and take some time. But when you got a contract that's expiring in an hour or two, you don't have time right. <laughs> to make a decision. <laughs> You know, by but you're to, to make a bunch of analysis. I mean, you know, you're putting your analysis in the wrong spot. I want to be focusing on the chart. Look over here. I'm like, hey, three spreads. Okay, if this meets my criteria, I'll take it. If not, I won't. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's all based on the, on the underlying. So I've got the futures chart up. I just didn't know if uh, how the uh, scanner that you had uh, worked. But, it might uh, actually works using looking at CME for the difference in proximity. So it's actually looking at the actual underlying, not just the indicative. So right, which is also right, helpful. Right. Okay, and you can put that criteria in the scanner, and it'll pop up all the available options. Oh yeah, you can hop way. in there. You can choose whatever market you want or markets. If you look at five markets at once, you can. Uh, you can choose buy, oh, sell, or both. You can choose risk reward ratio, maximum risk. You can do time to expiration. Uh, you can choose how far it is from the underlying market. You know, so you can do all that stuff. I mean, it's it's actually pretty quick and simple. So. And I got some oh, very simple step-by-step -step training videos that are like, how do you get started? What does this mean? And there's also a help desk in there. If you have any questions, you can just let me know. I'd be glad to help you out. But it makes oh, spreads yeah. 10 times easier. I mean, it's just, oh, it's okay. just not for trading you do, Okay, you do have a little tutorial on how to use it then. Yeah, yeah. As soon as you log in, what you're going to see is a tutorial like on the home page there. And it's like, hey, watch uh -huh. step two, watch the tutorials, use the scanner. Um, so if you go into the tutorials page right there, then you'll see it walks in, you know, the help desk and it walks in, you know, Chrome and how that works. And it walks because you can actually place your trade directly from the scanner. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. And uh, so it basically walks through the scanner and everything. And if you have any questions, you literally can send a question directly to me. So well, I can help right. you. Uh, not just on the scanner, but just on Nadex in general. So. Right. How, how is Nadex platform connected to Apex as far as being able to put a, a trade on through the scanner that you had that you're talking about? Uh, the scanner here, uh, basically what it does, it does a cross browser here on the diagnostic trading one I'll have in here, but it does a, a, a cross um, browser tab. So when you log into Nadex and another tab, okay, uh -huh. then it just talks to the other tab and tells it to place the order. Basically, it pulls up the out-of-ticket window. That you can do on the Nadex platform, on the on the web platform. Uh, oh! Hey, hold on right there. I'll talk yeah. to you about how, and then I'll tell you how that integrates with Pro as well. So stay right there, okay? All righty, thank you, Daryl. You bet. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Check out the new look of Tiger TV. Now you can see all hosts, charts, and computer screens live in high definition. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rose, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Carol Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. Now, crystal clear in high definition, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you haven't seen the new look of Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com. Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. All right, folks, we're coming back into the Diagnostic Trading Hour, and we're going in basically how the Nadex uh, platform connects with the scanner. I'm not sure. If, Ken, are you still on the line? I'm still here. All right, cool. All right, so basically what you do is you log in to your uh, Nadex platform, okay? And uh, okay. You know, let me log into my demo. Uh, but, and you log into the platform. So once you log into the scanner, or either way, you log into the platform, the scanner actually recognizes whether or not you're logged in. And, uh, oh, Okay. So I don't know. I don't know if you actually can. I don't know if you can see the screen right now or not. But on the screen, I'm actually showing where it knows I'm logged into live, and it knows I'm not logged into demo. Okay. Okay. Do so I need to be logged into the demo on the Nadex at the same time? Yeah. If you're demo trading, you want to log into the demo at the same time. And so I, I just logged into my okay. demo account over here, and as soon as I log in, and it recognizes that, it'll change the message. Now, like it doesn't say you're not logged in. And then up here, oh, I can choose okay. demo or live. Okay. Right, right, right. And let's say I sold this contract just as an example, okay? Um, and I'm in demo, okay. so I'm just randomly hitting a button here. But if I go in and I sell that contract, notice how it opened the ticket up for me automatically? Like all okay. I do is click sell, pops right up. So and then I can hit place order, and it's just using the pop-up ticket feature there. Place order, and then I'll see it filled here. It actually shows me. It actually pulls the information from the Nadex tab. And lets me see that I have an open position, and shows me what that position is, what the current PNL on it is, 
And then I could even click on it right here and say, you know what, I want to go ahead and put a take profit in to get out. I bought at 2107.3. Let's just make 2107.4. Okay. So I'll just put in a, you know, like a one tick profit in there. And then um, by doing that, then we'll be able to actually 2107.2. So I can actually even edit the order. I should have put a little bit lower. Uh, 0.2. I forgot we went short there. Um, because I wasn't paying attention because I'm just demoing. But 2107.2, and I can amend the order. And by amending the order, now it'll change it there. And I'll see it over here. And see, see now I see my open and my working orders. I can also see them um, over here, my open positions and my working orders. So you, it placed them in that. And if I'm in Nadex Pro, I'll also see the positions there. So you could still use the scanner to find it, maybe to place that initial order. And then, you know, I mean... You could use it like you could use Pro with the scanner, with the live, whatever. You could actually never even look at the the web platform; just have it logged in, okay? And oh, okay. Uh, and place your orders there, and then it will um, automatically uh, show up in the the Pro at the same time because they're all connected. So if you were in your demo Pro or your live Pro, whatever, and you're in your demo and live uh, web accounts. Uh, whatever you do inside the scanner will show up on the other side and okay, uh, yeah, my, make it so easy for you. I'm live with the Nadex, but I've still got the demo, so I'm just now getting involved with Nadex and I'm trying to use the scanner that you've got now that you're telling me about to be able to find the right one. So that's now, now, have you opened a live account or you just have a demo account so far with Nadex? I've got both now. Okay, got both now. Yeah, because you know if you – once you place that first live trade in a demo account, if you email them, then they will right. um, extend that out for a year for you. So. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's extended out a year. So I'm um, okay. just going to the demo mode to get proficient at it before I actually start Perfect. placing the live trade. So I, I wanted to make sure I could use a scanner that you've got for sure. So that's why I called in. Oh, yeah, definitely. Check it out, and it's easy to use. Watch the tutorials there, and they're under the scanner section there, and you'll find them. And, um, you know, and then if you got questions, let me know, okay? Okay, and, and uh, Chrome, uh, Google Chrome is the best browser, the only browser they use for this scanner that you have? Yeah, the reason for that, um, Internet Explorer is actually being, like, a lot of people, is actually becoming very, very outdated. They're actually about to stop making Explorer. Uh, oh, they're about, they're going to launch a whole new browser. Microsoft is going to make a whole new browser, a whole new name. Um, it's, it has a lot of security holes in it. Uh, and the reason we don't use Firefox is, I mean, it's about 15%, 20% of people use Firefox. But the issue with Firefox is it has what's called memory leaks, which normally oh. you would never notice. But when you're on a page that's feeding live data, right. okay, it makes a difference. It makes a <laughs> massive difference. Yeah, so uh -huh. Chrome has the security. I mean, as far as the privacy, I mean, people think Google. It's like you can turn privacy on, whatever. I mean, we're not saying you have to surf with it and whatever. You can do whatever you want to do. But, um, I mean, it, it's very secure, okay? And okay. it is very fast, and it doesn't have the memory leak issues. It's the fastest out of all the browsers and uh, for this function. So that's why we went and focused on Chrome to make sure it give, makes people try the best experience possible. So. Okay, and I'll go through Chrome on both of them now. There you okay. go. Well, that's all I guess I needed to ask you then, uh, Daryl. I go through the uh, tutorial on the scanner and go from there and play with it. All right. Let me know any questions you got. All right. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you. All right. All right. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization 
authorization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to make the best and most accurate decisions. Choose from a thousand equities, currencies, and futures instruments utilizing the TAS architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over $70. 25% off. John Logan hosted a special subscriber only webinar in December, and you'll gain access to that archive as well, so you can learn exactly what the TAS Profile Scanner can do for you. Try this product out. No matter what you trade, the TAS Profile Scanner can help you make more informed trading decisions. There's no obligation to pay anything. Don't let this offer pass you by. Get your 30 day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, going back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. So if we, uh, definitely check out that scanner and uh, appreciate the call in. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? Um, so, uh, getting on track here, seeing what all we got going on. Uh, we already did our market review, and uh, obviously had some big uh, moves going on today. Uh, we got the TSX uh, hitting one-week highs. Uh, TD, CIBC climbing, climbing, climbing up on the results. Uh, Greece is uh, suffering. The biggest bank run in history, apparently, um, in, or at least in their history. And let's see here. Pull that uh, story up. And uh, Zero Hedge always has a lot of fun stuff to read. Um, so, so basically, the latest generated deposit data following a 12 billion monthly outflow. So, um, anyway, just massive, massive uh, drop in deposits, and they're just going down, down, down. So it's getting worse, and that's we're seeing that uh, sort of being reflected over in the uh, euro and pound. Uh, 
itself. And uh, so there's some awesome moves today. Hopefully, y'all are taking advantage of that. Uh, Bureau dropping due to this. Uh, lowest level in 12 years against the dollar. And uh, store there on market watch. And uh, trying to keep you up to date across the board here. But again, lowest level in 12 years. We got uh, WTI crude futures trading below uh, 50 bucks a barrel. So going on back down. We'll see how all that plays out. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of people playing chicken there, and we'll see who's going to win. Um, dollar uh, obviously getting a lot stronger. Um, not, not only the data reports, but obviously just due to Greece. Um, and uh, but data reports being, you know, one of the the, the positive news coming out. Um, natural gas, uh, you know, fall it was massive today, and uh, you know, so we talked about that five percent move out of the gate. It's a huge, huge move. Uh, Gold uh, moving down a little bit, um, you know, as a strong dollar, obviously pulling it down and uh, crossing below uh, the 100, uh, mo you know, period moving average there. And so those are the sort of, you know, top headlines for the day, general news. Uh, going over, let me grab some um, charts and some moves. We'll look at a few things. Uh, let me pull up a thinkorswim chart over here. And... Oh. Uh, it may take me just a second to get that up. Um, let's see. What do we got? Uh, where is my program? I had another program to open that I wanted to pull up for you. I may do that on the next segment. Um, one of the things I did want to go over with you was, uh, you know, obviously there's different ways we can trade uh, natural gas and oil inventory reports and things of that sort. Uh, and if I can get this chart to pull up the way I want it to, <laughs> then I will show you some of the stuff that I'm talking about. But um, I almost got them all. Just got one more that I'm just waiting on it to pop up. Okay. So, anyways, we can trade them with ranges, uh, but we can use butterflies. And butterflies are basically a range-bound strategy. And if we know what the expected move is um, on – an specific time period, not just a one-day deviation, but an intraday deviation, then we can go in and we're able to actually calculate that and know, hey, you know, what would be a potential strangle or potential butterfly? What is the what is the pricing on the contracts? So first, what is a butterfly? Well, a butterfly is when you go in and you buy a binary below the market basically by buying that binary you're saying that the market will stay above that strike and selling a binary above the market so you're saying this market will stay below that higher strike so ultimately you're doing a range bound strategy where you're just saying that the market will stay between two strikes um and I mean that's that's really all there is to it. So if you go in and you pull up, let's say a oil, um, or na we'll do natural gas because we had that massive move in natural gas. And uh, today it'll be, I mean, it's been pretty rough because it's a big move. And uh, but let me go in. I'm going to open up a natural gas chart for you, and I'm going to have to connect to another data feed for that one. Um, anyway, so once I get that loaded up. Then we'll, what we'll do is we'll go and we'll look at like, okay, what is it? What is the range? And how could we potentially take advantage of that? And so I'm loading it up right near, right now here. And once the data feed comes on, just switching some things around. Um, what I do is I look at the expected range for any given period and then apply that to the chart. And, you know, of course, I like to look at, you know, volume. As well, so that's a very uh, important thing. I'm just going to look at it right now. Just uh, we'll go and we'll look at the expected volume, and then once all that pulls up, we'll look at how we could have either strangled it, straddled it, or butterflied it. Uh, and there's a lot of ways to use the butterflies. So one of those ways is to go in, and I'll trade it on 20-minute binary contracts, um, where I'll actually just look at is the expected volume. I'll just use volume. On the 20-minute contracts, is the expected volume higher than normal during that time period? So let's say I just open up a really simple five-minute chart, okay? And so we'll open that on up. It's five-minute, let's say, euro-dollar chart. And 
with that open, we'll go over here and we'll add in two things. I'm going to add an expected range again. I'm going to add an expected volume. By my range, I want to add to 20 minutes so I can know, you know, basically, and I can also visually see what's the usual move during, you know, any specific time period. And with that information, if I see that volume on the euro dollar is consistently exceeding the expected move, and I need to go in and just add on my history real quick. Let's see here. We'll go into volume, and we'll add in the history. I'm waiting. I don't know why it's taking so long for that to connect, but there we go. Show historical data. We got all that. Okay, so we have everything that's waiting on that to connect. Um, okay, it's connected now. So now once it loads up, then we'll see it. Um, when I see it exceeding, that's when I go, hey, you know what? I probably want to go in and look at potentially doing you know, a string or a straddle on these contracts during this time period, or I want to do butterflies if it's not exceeding. And it may be really big moves, but maybe it's really spaced out. If it's really spaced out, that's going to make for a good potential butterfly. If it's not spaced out, not so much. So now let's load that up that we have all the data on there. There we go. That's got a little bit more information. And we'll pull back here, okay? Uh, and let's just zoom into this morning. And we see that also we're starting to like right here. Notice how volume is exceeding expectations. It's starting to really go. Okay, that's my clue that, hey, on this next 20 minutes, I mean, we've got a few minutes left. We've got five minutes. But on this next 20 minutes, I probably don't want to go in and do a straddle. Okay, and so in that case, what I'll do is I'll like buy and sell the cheapest possible one I can get. If I can, if I can get a cheap one, which means to me means cheap means about thirty bucks, uh, and then I'd like to make you know forty five on either side, so fifteen bucks on each side, make forty five, so I net a thirty dollar profit on a thirty dollar risk, and boom, it pops out and goes. And if you can find them cheap, then it's great. If they're expensive, then don't do them because they're building in that expectation in the pricing. And that, that's really the whole trick to this is finding really, really cheap ones really close where they're not building the price. Now, if they are expensive and volume is calming down, okay, and let's say you can get like $30 or $50 for them, then you can literally go in and just literally capture contract after contract after contract after contract and put on a ton of butterfly trades every 20 minutes. So putting on a butterfly trade on this would be simply literally like buying a contract down here at 1.2 selling one up at 1.236. I mean, you're only talking like, you know, 15 ticks, basically 1.235, 15 ticks wide. So not a wide contract, 20 minutes to go. If you can grab at least 15 bucks on both sides, if one side falls against you, you get out at 50, okay? It's a $35 loss, you make 15, you're down 20 bucks and a $30 potential profit. I mean, really, you repeat that over and over and over again. It makes life pretty easy. So butterflies really are great on the 20-minute contracts. Uh, when you see volume slowing down, if there's some premium in there, again, flip it around. If you see volumes picking up and they're cheap, then that may be where you want to go in and look at potentially doing a straddle on them. So, um, but Iron Butterfly is one of the first strategies I came up with on binary contracts and one of the, still one of my favorites. Um, you can also do longer-term butterflies, like 10, 11, 12 hours. And uh, if you want to use an expectancy of movement, you want to get as close as you can. And by doing all that, um, become more effective at, you know, not just guessing and hoping, but actually using statistics to help you um, in your trading. Because, I mean, all the pricing is based on statistical previous movement and, of course, implied volatility movement. Um, the FX gives you a lot of long-term butterflies. So, um, you know, 10 hours, 12 hours um, contracts that you can take advantage of. Uh, let's go ahead and let's look over. We were talking about uh, natural gas and uh, the expected move and... Remember, one of the things I said is like, hey, if we can go in at the top of this hour, there's going to be a lot of premium in it because inventory reports coming out. Even with the insanely massive drop that we had, okay, that was not unexpected. Check out how the ranges are telling you the high and the low move right there. So if you would have bought a strike down here and sold a strike up here, they would have both expired in the money and you would have been profitable on the trade, trading it just like that. You can do the same thing on you know, oil inventory. Um, and go in and trade the range. Um, let's see here. A couple of reminders. Copper and silver 
Um, rolling over today there on um, Nadex, uh, natural gas rolled this past weekend. So if you haven't updated your charts, make sure to update them. Uh, when you're looking at the Nadex platform, you can see the month the contract is on. Make sure you're looking at the right month. Okay. Um, and it's so easy to look at the wrong month. I mean, I do it like, I mean, it's just, it's so easy to do. And uh, so just as a, you know, just a little reminder there, you know, you may want to make sure you go in and just double check uh, before you enter. Now, it's not that you can't still trade futures. I trade futures also. So uh, sometimes I'll actually still have that contract up because I'm trading that contract on the future, uh, waiting on Nadex to roll. So I may end up having both charts up or whatever. But um, just, you know, be aware of the roles that are taking place and, just, you know, look at the name of the contract and that'll keep you up to date on that. Um, and of course, here on the show, we'll talk to you about that as well. Um, let's see here. We got a few things. Um, New York uh, show. We got the money show is happening this weekend. I'm going to be out there tomorrow uh, flying out there. I'll be out there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, coming back Monday. So, uh, you know, feel free to ping me um, and let me know if uh, you're going to be in the area to you know, send an email to me there. Um, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and but I'll, I'll be out for the bull bear binary because I'm flying out. Uh, but definitely tune in for uh, Tommy uh, to be on there. And I uh, hope I can meet. I already got a couple traders I know I'm meeting with, and uh, one I've been working with for a long time. So I'm gonna go over and apparently his. Uh, they're gonna cook some uh, New York food. So I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna be finding out. And. Uh, I do it anyway. Good, good times. You get to hang out with a lot of traders that you know, learn some stuff. Uh, Tommy's going to be out there. The Nadek guys are going to be out there. They have a booth out there. Um, and, you know, one of the things, uh, you know, one of the first, uh, I, actually, I spoke uh, I, for Nadex in New York. Um, this is years ago. And uh, they, they had an open slot. And they're like, hey, I know you trade Nadex. Well, would you like to... Do you like to talk just about you know how you how you trade it? And this is before I even traded binaries. All I traded was the spreads. And um, but it's actually where the first time we actually taught publicly the ultimate hedge strategy, and um, which is my favorite strategy when I'm trading futures um, combined with Nadex. And what I'll do is I'll actually buy or sell the future fork contract, and then I'll um, hedge it. I'll put on basically it's day trading for options. I'll buy like say a call if I'm going short. You know I'll buy I buy the spreads if I'm going you know short. Um, and I'll hedge off my position with a defined limited risk. I get a really small risk on my future contract, but I get a really big stop loss. And that, of course, being the biggest advantage to me is I don't have to sit there and fret about every single tick uh, that pops on up. I can just hop on out of the trade um, anytime I want to, but my risk won't grow. And there's one basic principle um, that's important on this. Um, and understanding how it works, and it's how do you define your risk when hedging, and the other one is what is the um, the ratio. So how do I define my risk when I'm hedging? It's actually the difference between the underlying market, okay, and where you buy or sell the spread. So your risk on the trade, at least until the spread stops covering you, you know, which I mean at its floor ceiling, but which is you know could be eight points, could be thirty points, could be fifty points, okay. Uh, depends on what spread it is, but my max risk on the spread is actually on the hedge. If I were to buy the S and P and sell six of these spreads, my max risk would be six ticks. Okay, now that's only good for ten minutes, so not a big plan, not a big fan of that one. So I may go down here and go, okay, well this one, let's look at this one. Okay, now my max risk is eleven ticks. That's not bad. Um, give me a hedge for over an hour. All right. And it says it has to move now 11 ticks, not 11 S and P ticks, 11 spread ticks, which is like basically one point on the S and P. 10 ticks is one point. So I'll talk about that really important concept when we get back right after this. There you go. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Join David Dwight as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. All right, folks, welcome back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. So we're just going through uh, the ultimate head strategy. And one of the things I was talking to you about was uh, you can use the scanner to help you hedge your futures trades. So let's say you were going along the S&P and wanted to hedge off and have a smaller risk. This would let you have a one-point risk, okay? So 11 ticks is basically it ticks in point one over on Nadex. So, uh, you know, 0.1, 10 dimes in a dollar. So basically 10 ticks in a point on Nadex. Obviously four quarter ticks in a point over on the S&P. But uh, so you need five of those spreads in there to do that um and five spreads over 10 ticks would basically give you a 50 dollars risk and i even tell you right here in the scanner how many spreads do you need for one s p contract um now another so that's one important thing is what is the right ratio so five spreads for an s p future 
And then what is my risk, which is the difference in the proximity and the underlying market? All this calculated live for you. 50 bucks, no big deal. Now, the next thing is how far – we actually reverse these columns, proximity and underlying. How far does it have to move for me to actually make money? So it's basically got to move two points for me to get out of that $10 risk hole, okay? Because I got to make back um, the risk on the contract, okay, um, in order to eliminate all the risk. Now, it could actually end up being less. It could end up being like a ten, you know, 50 bucks. But uh, basically, I need I needed the SP to move two points, and after that, then I'm making cash. Now, some people will go in and they'll use this for scalping. So they'll put on one spread. They'll go in. They'll grab like three, four, five ticks. It pulls back. They'll put on three, four, five ticks. Boom. Now they've made their, you know, two plus points that they need to make, and um, you know, hundred dollars, right? Fifty bucks. Like I say, you got four ticks. Fifty bucks, four ticks. Boom. You made your hundred bucks. Uh, you've covered now your risk on the spreads completely. But you bought five of them. Now everyone you do that where you buy the future that is below the price where you entered the spread is fully head at least for you know basically eight points without any additional risk on the trade because the spread is covering that risk so really really cool strategy still love it to this day uh, a little more advanced you know you got to have the money in the futures account and the next account you're trading on two completely separate accounts um, but ultimately i mean it's it's options for day traders so uh, and uh, that's you know that's how i trade them but so check that uh, strategy out if you haven't tried it. If your futures are forced trading, you're like, ah, these binaries, whatever. You know what? I don't blame you. I did, the, I did the same thing for nine months. I didn't even touch the binary contracts. I like them now. But uh, it took a lot of wrapping my head around them. Um, one of the things I tell people is spreads are harder to understand and easier to trade. Binaries are easier to understand and harder to trade. So um, just due to how – it's just how it works. Um, let's see. What else do we got going on? Um, we have – a couple other things, just to make sure that we're caught up on our news calendar. I'm just going to go into a couple quick things for you, but we don't have a lot of time left. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get into it for you, but just uh, be aware, you know, be, keep your eye on the whole grease thing that's going on. That's causing a lot of volatility. So be ready for it. Take I even mean, in the sense of it's happening and take advantage of it um, in any way that you can. So tomorrow we got a U.S. preliminary GDP. So that's a big number coming out. Uh, that'll be released there at uh, 830. Usually, uh, the euro dollar only moves about 25 ticks when that comes out. So, um, And then we also have uh, a variety of reports coming out between 9 and 11 on the euro dollar. We have pending home sales, uh, University of Michigan consumer sentiment, and inflation expectations. Uh, and so I uh, could look at potentially uh, between 9 and 11 a $30 iron condor on that trade. Uh, as far as what's coming up next week, I got to check if there's anything big. But... Uh, you got some pound reports coming out Sunday. Uh, it was a Europe out Sunday night. You need to be aware of your trade at night. And uh, Aussie cash rate coming out Monday night. Be very aware of that. Okay. Now they'll change it because they just did, but be very aware of that coming out Monday night. Y'all have a great evening, and I will see you next week right here on the Diagnostic Trading. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.